Now, in the unfortunate situation where you may be in danger of having a run-in with one of the many dangerous animals, the last thing you want to worry about is not being able to see them. Let's take a look at some of these sneaky hunters who have mastered the art of camouflage. You know what an anagram of the word sneaky is? Try snaky. Yep, snakes definitely have the ability to bite you before you even know there's one nearby. And wow, do they like to bite us! There's an estimated 4.5 million people bitten by snakes each year. Unfortunately for humans, the snake with the highest venom yield, which is the amount of venom held in the venom glands at a time, is also an expert in discreetness. Allow me to introduce you to the Gaboon Viper. Nope, stay back. This species of snake can be found in the subtropical forests and savannas of Western Africa, including the Ivory Coast, Ghana, Guinea, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Togo. That's a lot of snakes. They typically grow to a length of about 4 to 6 feet and can weigh from 20 to 25 pounds. This makes it one of the largest and heaviest vipers. And I'm not just saying this for dramatic effect, but the species also has the largest fangs of any venomous snake. They often measure 2 inches long or more and fold up against the roof of the snake's mouth when not in use. Have I made the Gaboon Viper sound terrifying? If I'm yet to do so, now might be a good time to let you know that the creature has enlarged scales on its nose that look like a pair of horns, just to go along with its wide triangular head and vertical slit pupils. Ooh. As an ambush animal, the creature likes to make the most of its brownish-gray mottled scales. The Bitus gabonica, its real scientific name and not a joke, is a nocturnal hunter and will lie perfectly still underneath leaves or plants on the forest floor and wait for its prey to pass by before striking. The snake is carnivorous. Its diet mostly includes rodents, birds, frogs, and lizards. Yum! Its hunting ability greatly benefits from this knack to blend in seamlessly with its surroundings. This even makes them capable of taking down larger animals, such as mongooses and hares. Needless to say that if you do manage to spot a Gaboon Viper while strolling around Western Africa, there are only two things you need to think about. The first thing, don't pet it. Actually, run away from it. Although slow-moving and sluggish, these snakes do have one of the fastest bite strikes around, and their head can move between 175 and 200 miles per hour during an attack. Oh, and the second thing is that maybe you should hire someone to walk ahead of you just in case. Thankfully, though, bites from the creatures are very rare, as the Gaboon Viper is much calmer than other dangerous snakes, such as the Puff Adder or Black Mamba. This doesn't mean you shouldn't be careful. When bites do occur, it often happens when a human foot accidentally steps on the creature, because, as we now know, they're not the easiest thing to see. For the unlucky ones who do get bitten, it's really serious. The Gaboon Viper's venom is extremely dangerous if not countered by an antidote within 2-4 to hours. Okay, so you might have guessed that a lot of snakes would use the art of camouflage to their advantage, given that they're low to the ground and not especially wide or tall. Why don't we look at a bigger creature that you may think you have no trouble spotting? Speaking of spots, how about a leopard? Leopards are found in many parts of the world across Africa, parts of the Middle East, and Asia, including China, India, and eastern Russia. On average, they can weigh anywhere between 110 and 200 pounds and be as long as 7 feet, excluding their 3-foot-long tail. Typically yellow in color on top and white on the bottom, leopards have dark spots arranged in what looks like rosettes all over their body. The different design patterns of these spots have confirmed the existence of several different races of leopards. Black leopards are perfectly equipped for stalking other animals during the night whilst lurking in the shadows, thanks to their all-black fur coat. But you might have thought the spotted coats of the other leopards would actually make them quite easy to notice. This isn't the case. In environments where there are lots of light and dark patches of different sizes and shapes, it helps to have a lot of spots, splotches, or stripes. Just think about the sun-dappled areas of the African outback and how the animal could use them to their advantage. As if they needed any more abilities to allow them to behave in an annoyingly stealthy manner, leopards are also agile tree climbers. In other words, they can also stalk you from above. So what animals get tricked by the leopard's camouflage skills? Well, anything it can overpower, from small rodents to water bugs. 
but leopards generally hunt smaller and medium-sized antelopes and deer. Thankfully, all of the big cat species that you may encounter during a safari in Africa, leopards are seen as the least likely to attack a human. Most instances of dangerous encounters between leopards and humans happen when the animal is weakened and unable to hunt. So it has to take whatever it can get. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep your eyes open, really open, given their ability to hide if you're in an area known to house leopards. No point trying to run away from an animal that can reach a speed of up to 35 miles per hour. Interestingly, this is actually slower than the top speed of most of the animals it hunts, which again speaks to the leopard's ability to sneak around. There are a lot of reasons why the leopard's coat works to its advantage from a camouflage perspective. But you know where this might not be too effective? How about the Snow White Arctic? There, you might not notice a certain pair of eyes, nose, and foot pads coming towards you because the rest of the owner's body blends in with your surroundings. The owner in question is the polar bear. Yep, the polar bear can camouflage itself to its environment so well that it can actually pass as a snowdrift. What's super surprising about this is that the animal's coat isn't even white. The polar bear's fur is yellow, and its skin is actually black. Polar bears use their camouflage to their advantage, not only for hunting, but also for their own protection. This is weird to think about, given that polar bears are the largest bear species and land carnivores in the world. They can weigh up to 1,300 pounds and measure up to 5 feet tall on all fours, or nearly 10 feet when standing up. Despite being hard to spot because of their fur, it's the art of patience that polar bears prefer to use when seeking out food. A common hunting method used by the bear is simply keeping perfectly still by a seal's breathing hole, and often not just for hours, but for days. Sometimes this patient goes without reward. And even when a seal comes up for a breath, its slippery body means that, on average, polar bears only catch one out of every five seals they come across. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking matters into your own hands, or in this case, paws. Polar bears are very capable swimmers and can also hunt in the water. They can reach a speed of 6 miles per hour by paddling with their front paws and holding their hind legs flat like a rudder. Their paws are slightly webbed to help them swim. They're typically able to hold their breath underwater for up to 30 seconds. Luckily, interactions between polar bears and humans are very rare. Between 1870 and 2014, there were only 73 documented dangerous meetings between the two species. As with leopards and gaboon vipers, we would have to go out of our way to find one. The problem is that there's a good chance they'll find us first if we do. Some creatures don't even use the art of camouflage. They're just so small that you can't see them. This is the case with a species of jellyfish known as the common kingslayer or mallow kingi. This creature typically grows up to an inch and a quarter in size. You can compare it to the size of a human thumbnail. Imagine being underneath the ocean and trying to spot something that small. The common kingslayer has four tentacles surrounded by tissue that resembles a halo. You can find this jellyfish mostly in Australian waters. The creature actually got its name from an unfortunate encounter with an American tourist named Robert King, who was visiting Australia, went swimming, and got slayed, I guess. Whilst you might think that jellyfish just float around aimlessly in the ocean all day, most of them are actually active hunters, and the kingslayer is no different. This creature even has eyes equipped with lenses, corneas, and retinas. They allow the jellyfish to see actual images, rather than just tell the difference between areas of light and dark. Despite being so small, the kingslayer is extremely venomous, as the poor Mr. King found out. Upon contact, it shoots its venom into other animals' bloodstream via its dart-like stinging cells located inside the tentacles. Thankfully, the kingslayer isn't seeking out interaction with people. However, an estimated 150 million people are stung by all kinds of jellyfish every year, so it's best to be on the lookout whenever you're underwater.